Hello there, my name is George Mock with Texas Instruments and I'm your guide to this quick tip video about precise control of compiler diagnostics. So what are we looking at right now? This is Code Composer Studio. A very simple contrived project is open. It's got one source file. That source file is here. I've already compiled it and you can see it's got a diagnostic you may not desire about statement is un excuse me statement is unreachable I want to particularly point out this number right here 112 that is the identifier associated with the diagnostic and we are seeing that because this option right here is being used dash dash display error number this option is used in most projects that you uh, set up in CCS by default, but if for some reason your project is currently not using that option, this is one that you need to um, add or otherwise these numbers like this do not appear. So what's important about 112? It's talking about statement is unreachable. It means this break statement right here, okay? Notice how the return precedes it, which means you're never going to execute this break. But it could well be the uh, coding standard in your project that you must have a break statement after every case. And so you don't want to see the di this diagnostic. What can we do about this? Well, as fortune would have it, there's a couple of uh, pragmas already here that we can take advantage of. Let's go ahead and uh, modify the file, save the file. This first pragma, the diag suppress, says I want to suppress diagnostic with identifier 112 and then diag default basically re-enables it. It sets the uh, the handling of this di diagnostic back to its default settings. So with these changes what happens when we build the file? Check that out. Oh and excuse me on this. Check that out. The diagnostic is gone. Alright so that's the in a nutshell, precise control of compiler diagnostics. If you want to know more about diagnostic handling in general, bring up help, help contents, and drive into the, the uh, compiler menu that you're interested in. I've opened up MSP430 for now. Uh, inside of using the C, C++ compiler chapter, there's a section called Understanding Diagnostic Messages. And this and all the little sections that are, that are, that are part of it uh, work together to uh, talk in great detail about the diagnostics and um, all sorts of fun things you can do with them. So that wraps it up. My name is George Mock with Texas Instruments. Thank you for joining me on this quick tip video about precise control of compiler diagnostics.